The countdown is divided into three major portions. Range checks on ground power, initial launch commands and missile instrumentation battery activation sequences, and finally, transfer of all systems to internal missile power with final launch command insertion and liftoff. This count progressed smoothly until a small pleasure boat appeared out of the fog near shore. The boat is too close to the danger area around the launchers and the countdown must be held until the boat can be moved into the clear. The boat is quickly escorted away, and the count is allowed to continue. CSO, verify. Missile flight hazard caution area clear and ready for launch. CSO, verify. B-15 minutes. Mark and counting. At this point, the onboard instrumentation batteries are now activated. MCO activate. LF-8 PSS batteries. MCO proceeding. Meanwhile, the one-strand command post transmits a test initiation message to the crews, after which they enable the missile and insert the first of two execute launch commands required for launch. With the missile registering one launch boat, the second crew installs their launch control panel, which contains the code for the second launch boat and awaits the test conductor's command to turn keys. With the launch crews ready, last-minute checks are accomplished, and the instrumentation system is transferred to internal power. As everyone makes their final checks, the launch director receives final approval for launch. Even though the launch was in the early morning daylight in California, the Kwajalein target area is still in pre-dawn darkness as the re-entry vehicles, flowing from the heat of re-entering the atmosphere, impact on their targets. Testing and evaluation of missiles were moved from operational sites and launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base 
using operational unit maintenance technicians and combat crews supported by the 1st Strategic Aerospace Division and the Western Test Range, proves that the intercontinental ballistic missile continues to be a reliable and accurate leg of the strategic triad. This operational testing program, in combination with actual day-to-day -day missile operations, gives us confidence in our ICBM forces' readiness.